On Friday, Executive Mosaic recognized Bill Webner, Chair, President and CEO of Capgemini Government Solutions, and Stephanie Tompkins, Director of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, for their 2024 WASH 100 award wins. Matthew Asucha, Vice President of MD Clones North American Sales and Federal Sector, recently participated in an interview with the Potomac Officers Club in which he discussed his leadership style, highlighted his core values and offered his insights on the evolving federal technology ecosystem. The U.S. Space Command unveiled a new strategic vision toward its goal of expanding domain leadership and combat readiness by the year 2027. Carlos Del Toro, Secretary of the U.S. Navy and a 2024 WASH 100 awardee, said the Department of the Navy established a new council to help mitigate adversarial foreign investment risks, coordinate and safeguard research efforts, advance supply chain integrity initiatives and protect innovation and technology. The Department of Justice has appointed its first-ever Chief Science and Technology Advisor and Chief Artificial Intelligence Officer, Jonathan Mayer. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Office of Space Commerce is planning to procure Space Situational Awareness, or SSA, data quality monitoring services from commercial vendors through the global data marketplace. CISA is launching the Federal Enterprise Operations Cyber Alignment Plan to enable federal agencies to discuss and share information on cyber incidents and approaches and develop a common strategy to address such threats and other challenges. The Catalyst Accelerator has announced a new cohort of companies that will utilize commercial data and tools to increase the U.S. Space Force's awareness of the space environment. The National Association of Regulatory Utility Commissioners has released a set of cybersecurity baselines to help strengthen the security of electric distribution systems and distributed energy resources infrastructure. The National Science Foundation seeks to establish a blanket purchase agreement titled Unified Network for Innovative Technology and Engineering, and has issued a request for information to determine industry interest and capability in addressing the requirement.